Hey everyone, it's your favorite author and photographer, Joseph D. Steck, back in lovely Cleveland, Ohio, out on a beautiful winter day. Um, recently, again, uh, I've just really been inspired by an exhibition I saw of Georgia O'Keeffe at the Cleveland Museum of Art. Her art, her life, um, the way she lived, it was a very uh, turbulent life, very interesting, and uh, her art and the way in which she just conducted her life really has just really stayed in my thoughts in my soul the last few days and I've really been just contemplating her her methods, her creativity, um, just everything about her, her works and her life. And one thing I noticed when I was reading up on her was that she often said that she didn't like be referred to as a female artist. She just wanted to be known simply as an artist. So uh, I think O'Keeffe died around 1986 or in the mid 80s and at that time someone could say uh, she wasn't part of the feminist trend at the time but recently she's been incorporated more as a part of feminism and I think in some ways maybe and not some ways that she would have liked or intended or officially approved of herself. I'm just speculating, of course, but, um, but I think now often when you read about um, artists or when I see an exhibition at a museum, it says a, a very long hyphenated, this is a whatever, ethnicity, sexuality, country of origin, this is a very long hyphenated name, and then all of the art is supposed to be viewed through the lens of she is you know, a gay Lebanese woman or whatever. Whatever, there's a million different combinations of hyphenations you can you can put. But uh, O'Keefe seemed to pretty much boldly and straightforwardly reject this, that she was a female artist or whatever you want to say, a Wisconsin artist or whatever, a New Mexican artist. So uh, I just wonder what you thought about that. I know when I've had exhibitions in Ukraine or in Russia, a lot of the emphasis was on where I'm from and my American background and other things and I try to focus more on I mean I think that's important your background is important but at the same time those are just details but hopefully your artwork has more of a universal nature and you're not just reduced to being American or a man or gay or black or Ukrainian or whatever other ideas you want to present yourself as. And then also, I recently saw the film Bohemian Rhapsody, and when I saw that, um, I was very interested in that because I'd been to Zanzibar, saw where Freddie Mercury was born, and also I lived in Baku, which is the birthplace of the Zoroastrian religion, and Freddie Mercury was a, you know, he was, I'm not sure what the right word is, not christened, but initiated as a Zoroastrian, and when he died, the burial or cremation ceremony was in the official Zoroastrian rite. I'm not sure if I have the details correct, but I think I'm close. He was definitely a Zoroastrian. So when I was in Baku and in Zanzibar, I read more about Zoroastrianism. And I find it a very, uh, very interesting religion and philosophy. And it seemed to me that everything I read about Freddie Mercury also said that, similar to O'Keefe, he rejected uh, you know, political statements. He said he was just out there on stage to let people forget about their lives for a while, to have a good time. And I've been to almost 70 countries now, and almost in every place, people really, really love Queen. They love Freddie Mercury, regardless of their political affiliation or their religion or the background or what have you. So I found uh, sort of another crossover between George O'Keefe and Freddie Mercury that they both rejected, you know, just being seen as a female artist or as a gay artist or Zoroastrian or whatever. But now it seems in the uh, popular uh, culture, the zeitgeist, if you will, it seems very popular to kind of neatly package them as a gay artist or a female artist. I find this to be a bit, uh, in my opinion, intellectually lazy, and it just kind of sets people up for bickering and arguing over their identity rather than seeing the beauty and the nature of their works. So, um, let me know what you think, if you agree or disagree. 
if you have any opinions about George O'Keefe, about Freddie Mercury, or any other artist. And if you think that if you would like to be identified as only as a woman or as gay or as black or Ukrainian or Indian or whatever, whatever you might uh, want to identify as, or do you reject that, or do you mention it but not make it your main identity? All right, uh, have a good day and talk to you soon.